The Speedy B F4 Mini Stack is hoping to resurrect a time period when you could build a drone for far less than $500. Now, why has that changed so dramatically? It's because of the chip shortage that has been hitting the entire globe, raising the costs of electronics manufacturing and the individual micro components that make up these boards, your drone's flight controller and electronic speed controller that we have here. Now, why is this so significant? It's because they're going back to a previous gen processor, the F4, but it's really all you need in order for Betaflight to do all of the complex calculations for all but the smallest of use cases. So this will work perfectly for the majority of people out there, and it's attempting to do it for a legacy price of only. This price of this new model is under $100. <laughs> 59.99 now so why would you do something like that let me tell you i normally fly the f7 reaper system by fox here in pretty much all of my builds big or small but due to price increases this electronic speed controller costs 80 dollars and this flight controller costs 60 dollars so we're looking at a total of 140 dollars budget drone electronic stacks are making a comeback after the insane price increases of the chip shortage this is the new speedy b f4 mini stack it is 35 amps so you're going to want to use it for micros three inch four inch or an ultra light five inch now you can tell that these are smaller size fats so you may not want to run this on a full size 2207 five inch but for everything slightly smaller than that it should go they are actually quality toshiba fats on there just the smaller ones and the layout is actually pretty good now the flight controller itself is an f4 for most modern day pilots do you really need the extra processing speed of f7 after all this still comes with a black box it still comes with a barometer on board it still has up to four UARTs, so you can install DJI, HD0, Analog, or whatever video system you prefer. It does have a 5 volt, 2 amp, and 9 volt, 3 amp dual BEX on board, so you can really wire up everything that you're going to need to your specifications. You can see a full variety of little leds over on the side and of course you have usb-c the latest technology on there now unlike some of the previous budget stacks by diatone they're actually putting the usb-c connector on top side of the flight controller not on the bottom side and some of those diatones when they were on the bottom side if you had your stack too close together and it would compress you would make contact with that usb-c onto the fets or onto the motor wires and it would just blow up in a fireball but speedy has learned and not done that the way some of those other manufacturers have done now speedy b was a little bit of hiccups um, at launch to get off the ground with their budget series of electronics but the general consensus is lately they are more and more safe so please put in the comments your experience with a speedy b stack let's check out what comes in the box this is compatible with both M3, and I really like the fact that it comes with separate gummies for M3, as well as separate little rubber washers and two different size screws for your stack. It also comes with a full set of M2 hardware, which are pre-installed on there, and it comes with an XT30, a low ESR capacitor, and your harness to be able to connect these two together. Now, notice that it comes with an XT30. You could put an XT60 on here if you're gonna fly it, but again, it does not encourage you to go to a full size five inch, but an ultralight five inch with like a 2004 motor or an 18 size motor would work perfectly. Again, the key is that it's going to be 60 bucks. Now, am I going to run it on my full size racing builds? No, but sometimes if you are going to build a slightly smaller build, you want something budget. And that's why these cost savings are really compelling for the new builder or somebody that just wants to get a smaller craft up in the air without blowing their full budget. A lot of us can only afford maybe one full size craft and a couple of micros. Now, this size is actually really popular for park flying. This is an example of Fox Ears Aura 3.5 inch, and you can actually go watch my full review on this. Now, this does have a Fox Ear all in one in here, but you could have just as easily spent less money for this stack if you were to build your own and get it up in the air, and it should run something like this. 
Now, I've received this product less than a week before I need to have this video out, so this is not gonna be a long-term review. In fact, I think it would be a little disingenuous for me to slap it in a build, fly it for three packs, and say how great it is. That's not how we're gonna do things. If it works out well, I'll make a long-term review saying approximately how many packs has been on it, thanks to Betaflight's pack counter that I can use and I'll maybe give it an update six months or 12 months later on down the road. But what I want you to do, if you have had good luck with Speedy Bees Electronics, they have for a while been selling their 30 by 30 version of this for approximately 60 to 70 dollars, also a great value. Now I know at the beginning when they first launched they had some quality control issues, people were burning things up, but the last several months things seem to be much more positive on this brand as a way for you to save money. After all, things are going to break, they are going to burn if you crash them hard enough. But if you can save enough money and have a totally separate build, a backup for whenever you go out in order to fly, you don't wanna to have to waste your home. Doing the walk of shame to pick up your crash quad is hard enough, but doing the drive of shame, having to drive back home because you broke your drone in the first five minutes and you don't have another one, that is the ultimate shame of all. So hopefully with these component prices reducing, you can afford to have a second or third back up and travel with you. After all, this entire thing costs as much of just the flight controller of the system that I normally use. So please comment down below if you've had success with Speedy Bee and if you feel like trying this new generation out, if they've saved you money in the past and allowed you to have those extra builds up in the air, this is the perfect time to jump on this. Links in the description down below. Any link that you click will give me a small commission and allow me to keep making this content for you guys. In fact, a lot of the equipment that I use to make the channel costs a lot more than the drone equipment that I actually go fly with. That's why you see such high production quality here on the Johnny Five channel. That's what allows me to help the Lamone channel in order to get him leveled up. Wow, what a great job he's doing. And it's been really cool to be one of the shit pilots interviewing. Go check out the Trappy interview that we did just the other day. One of of FPV's legends. What are you gonna do guys? Are you gonna spend all your money on a micro build when you could get away with a budget price? I don't think I am. I'm gonna save a little bit of money. I'm gonna use that leftover $80 to go buy 160 tacos at Jack in the Box. I have a pretty big order, I hope it's okay. And they better not try to short me on the taco sauce. I want that fire in the bag.